Hell's Canyon Massacre. In the rugged expanse of northeastern Oregon, where the winds whisper through canyons and the land cradles the stories of its indigenous people, the Hell's Canyon Massacre of 1887 etches a harrowing narrative into the annals of American history. This haunting tale unravels a strained dance between the U.S. government and the Nez Perce, particularly in the sacred expanse of the Wallowa Valley. Once, the Nez Perce had extended a hand of friendship to Lewis and Clark, aiding their expedition through this majestic terrain. However, a treaty of 1855 severed the ties of trust, coercing the Nez Perce to relinquish a substantial part of their ancestral lands, including the hallowed grounds of the Wallowa Valley. Promises made were discarded, and the tribe found themselves trapped in the relentless grasp of territorial encroachment. The macabre crescendo unfolded in 1887 when federal forces descended upon a Nez Perce camp nestled in the ominous embrace of Hell's Canyon. In the aftermath, more than 60 souls paid the ultimate price, victims of a ruthless manifestation of the government's policy of removal and dispossession. The echoes of gunshots and the anguished cries of the Nez Perce reverberate through time, laying bare the broader pattern of violence and injustice perpetrated against Native American tribes. The toll on the Nez Perce was catastrophic. Lives were extinguished, families shattered, and a forced departure to the north in a desperate gambit for survival. The flight to Canada tore at the very fabric of the Nez Perce community, leaving wounds that persist like lingering shadows. The Hell's Canyon Massacre is a testament to the profound and enduring impact of the government's actions, a stain on the historical canvas in terms of lost lives and cultural heritage erasure. In the wake of the massacre, the fragile trust between the U.S. government and the Nez Perce unraveled utterly. The sense of betrayal, already deeply rooted, festered for generations, leaving behind a legacy of mistrust that continues to shape the dynamics between Native American tribes and federal authorities. The Hell's Canyon Massacre stands as a stark reminder that historical trauma, once inflicted, reverberates through time, shaping the course of future interactions. To comprehend the significance of the Hell's Canyon Massacre, delve into the heart of the complex tapestry woven by centuries of injustice and violence in the U.S. and Native American narrative. It offers a sad reflection on the repercussions of land dispossession, broken promises, and the deployment of military might against indigenous peoples. To disregard such historical wounds is to deny the resilience and enduring struggles of Native American communities. While acknowledging the darkness of the Hell's Canyon Massacre, one must also recognize the glimmers of progress in the ongoing saga of U.S. and Native American relations. The Indian Reorganization Act of 1934 and contemporary efforts to address historical grievances signal a growing awareness of the imperative for justice and recognition. Nevertheless, the scars left by events like the Hell's Canyon Massacre persist, demanding continued efforts to confront and rectify historical wrongs. In wrapping up, the Hell's Canyon Massacre of 1887 remains an enduring mark on the American consciousness, symbolizing the broader injustices committed against Native American tribes. It vividly recalls the severe outcomes stemming from land dispossession, coerced relocation, and the harsh enforcement of military aggression. Delving into this summer episode constitutes a historical exploration and a plea for engagement, prompting us to tread the journey toward justice and reconciliation with keen awareness and empathetic spirits. So, you've endured a slice of the RPTM podcast. We're not saying we aimed to tickle your funny bone, but we wouldn't mind if a chuckle accidentally slipped out. And hey, if we manage to wring a tear or two from those ducts of yours, that's just a bonus. If, against all odds, you found this episode remotely captivating, consider sparing a thumbs upward motion and indulge in the grand gesture of subscribing. Who knows, you might subject yourself to more of our potentially mind-stirring tete-a-tete in the future.